welcome to our Advent calendar, a project of St. Thomas a Becket Church, Ramsey, Monday the 14th of December. We turn a corner now as we move into the third week of December, the third week of Advent. We're looking not backwards at the history of how people became friends of God, but forwards towards God's new plan to create an eternal friendship between himself and humanity. And we look at someone who was perhaps the first and almost the greatest of the prophets, a man named Elijah. Let me show you the image. Elijah lived at a time of great wickedness where the kings of Israel uh, had abandoned the worship of God. He spoke up for God. He was a friend of God. And God performed great things for him. But the persecution intensified. We see here is Elijah out in the desert. Elijah was feeling very sorry for himself. He felt he was the only one left who loved and served God. What happened was two things. First of all, he had an encounter with God. Who uh, told him to stop feeling sorry for himself? That in fact, there were hundreds and thousands of friends of God still present in Israel, even though the times were wicked. And he gave him a new job to do, to anoint a new prophet and a new king and make a fresh start in the life of his people. And then the other thing that happened was what we see here. I think this is very beautiful and tender. God didn't want Elijah to starve to death, even though he turned his face to the wall. And so he sent the birds of the field to feed his friend Elijah. Elijah's story speaks to all of us who are tempted to despair, who feel that the world is wicked, that we are going to destroy ourselves, that we are irremediably foolish and alienated from God. Brother or sister, it isn't so. God is working his purposes out through us. We just don't have the visibility of the great plan. So like Elijah, let us be fed by God in his tender care for us and then start again with a fresh start for ourselves and our land. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.